Right, everybody, thanks for your time. Um, don't want to speak, take too much time, but uh, hopefully this is just some information. I'm head of department for marine engineering at the Nelson Mandela University, and we are offering a Bachelor of Engineering Technology in Marine Engineering. And just listening to what we've been discussing and all the type approvals and all that, our objective is being to provide the academic skills, the foundation academic skills that we can support the maritime industry. And um, just to make sure that we have graduates coming out that you can, that your industry can then mentor and grow into engineers developing the products that you're talking about. So just to move forward then, Coming out of the Operation Pikisa, which we all know about, this uh, uni our university decided to develop this program and this degree to support both in most of this Operation Pikisa objective. So the maritime transport and manufacturing, all component manufacturing, as well as um, operations, design, oil and gas environment, aquaculture environment, all of these require engineering, they all require engineering in um, a water environment floating on or under the sea. And so this qualification has been developed to, to provide the academic skills for those. Obviously, South Africa has a significant um, <clears throat> access to the various oceans around it, as well as on the right hand side, you can see just a snapshot of the annual ships that go past our coastline that we need to make, make use of and harness the economic benefit from that. So Nelson Mandela University down in Port Elizabeth, Narkabecha, has two ports and the university is situated quite close to them. And so the university has taken a big focus on developing its maritime and maritime related qualifications. So it's not only engineering, we've developed a maritime campus and uh, looking at maritime business management, maritime uh, logistics, as well as our qualification, which is engineering. Right, so on the left-hand side there, you see we have now the Department of Marine in Engineering, and we have a Bachelor of Engineering Technology in Marine Engineering. And it's part of the School of Engineering and it's complementary with the degree in mechanical engineering. So we have the BNG Tech Marine and then it feeds into the honors for mechanical engineering. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few slides time. So our, our history in engineering at the university, we have electrical, industrial, we've got mechatronics, we've got civil and a very strong mechanical department. And so our department has just fed into the mechanical and uh, using and combined with a number of the mechanical qualifications. Right, again, so marine engineering, it's a, the BNG Tech in marine engineering has two, I suppose, let's put it legs, and uh, it's to feed into either a seafarer, in other words, someone which goes on and works on the ships and operates the ships and uh, up to what we call chief engineer or a land-based environment as an engineering technologist, which is the EXA Engineering Council of South Africa accredited. And we're looking at developing eventually into a naval architecture speciality. We're looking at uh, a good arc qualification look so they in uh, focus on uh, automation and maritime automation, as well as marine engineering. We then, just to just confirm again, as I mentioned earlier, that this is EXA accredited as a professional engineering technologist under the Sydney Accord. So it is internationally accredited through that, through the Engineering Council of South Africa, as well as we are currently SAMSA accredited 
And uh, for those of you who know that industry going all the way through, so we've got the academic content for the, the graduates, and then they go going to join, become a cadet, and then they can go through their various oral exams, eventually up to the level of chief engineer. All right, so just to clarify then, um, employment opportunities, anything in the maritime and marine industry, we're looking at the Navy, the Merchant Navy, we've got oil and gas, we've got ship and boat building that they were mentioning earlier about yacht builders and yachts and the yacht industry, leisure industry in South Africa that is significant, as well as um, the land-based energy sector and factories. And obviously, the value chain within that environment. So just quickly, I just want an overview of it so that you as the industry know what we, we're kind of dealing with. And uh, just confirming, I can't see hands. So just interrupt me if I need to uh, answer a question or something. All right, so we've got a three-year program, just looking at the year one at the bottom and year three at the top with a high focus in naval architecture, marine engineering knowledge, as well as in the design environment. Then once, so a student can graduate at, uh, after three years, or they can elect to carry on further to do a fourth year honors. And currently we're doing a fourth year honors in mechanical engineering, but with marine engineering modules. And uh, one of the modules then is marine craft design, performance and seakeeping. And then in the second semester, they go on to do a research project with a marine focus, as well as a design, design project with marine focus. So I don't want to go on too much, but uh, if there are later questions in what content and what we do cover in these modules, these are just a list of the actual outline of the various subjects. But again, to highlight, we focus on naval architecture, we focus on marine engineering knowledge. There is the marine law, which obviously this webinar has talked a lot into, as well as uh, marine electrical, as well as automotion uh, engineering. Then just uh, for information purposes, we've got mechanical engineering. Um, half of the subjects are our general mechanical engineering subjects that the mechanical engineers also then take, which is then mathematics. We've got physics one and two, general engineering and mechanical design, thermodynamics, statics and dynamics, strength and materials, as well as fluid mechanics. So just moving on then, so where we focus on, we've got some research that we are currently doing, and uh, we, we've uh, kind of focusing on hull optimization for the Southern Oceans conditions at the moment. And um, we've, we've also got a marine robotics center that we are looking at and that they are doing research in autonomous robotic ve uh, vessels that are going out to sea and taking various measurements. Uh, just looking at our staff, just so that we put, put you in the picture for that, we've got Mr. Boswell Das, who we sent to the University of Southampton and he got his MSc in Naval Architecture in 2017, and is currently, currently doing his PhD in Naval Architecture, looking at safety assessment of fishing trawler operations in the Southern Oceans and ship motion triggered by hauled fishing gear. So he's quite uh, advanced in, his, in his, uh, his research there. We've got Mr. John Fernandez, who's our electrical and automation specialist. At the moment, we've got a vacant position. We've got our chief engineer, Sergio Giannotti, has uh, resigned and moved on to uh, the actual shipbuilding industry and he's working in, in Germany at the moment. He's currently lecturing part-time for us, but we are looking at replacing that and have had some interviews for that. And then that's myself there. I've just finished my PhD in shipbuilding management and uh, just looking at how we can develop the economy and the, the shipbuilding and manufacturing economy in South Africa. So our premises then, uh, we've got a marine engineering and maritime focused lab area where we've got about 250 square meters of lab space and we're developing it still. This is not a, 
entirely complete, but we are in the process of completing it. We've got some state-of-the-art simulation and audiovisual equipment where we can work together with Finland and Netherlands and Vatsila Maritime Trading Academy that we do training with. That's just a, a quick shot of our, our equipment that we have at the moment or our demonstration equipment. We've got a, a HL20 on the left and a 6L26 on the right hand side there, as you can see. So those are just what we're using with the students to demonstrate, as well as some shafts, some stern tubes, and uh, you can see we've even got some, some blades there. Again, so last year during the, the height of the COVID environment, we were setting up our simulation lab and we've got the Vatsila sponsored Transa software uh, simulation lab that we are incorporating into our engineering program. Again, we do value our collaboration with international universities as well. So we've got a really good relationship with Finland, Solent in Southampton as well. And we work together with DUT and CPUT down here in South Africa. So that was just a quick, uh, a quick overview and introduction to the qualification. The point of this, as discussed with Nicolene, is that we are needing industry to send and to identify students to be able to send to the university so that they can get trained in the industry and then the academics that you need and then we can support you so this is very important um, i keep getting asked do i have students well yes i've got one or two that have graduated but they have now stayed on and they are studying further to do their masters but what we are looking for is passionate school leavers that are passionate about the maritime industry, about yacht building, about boat building, ship building, or going and working on super yachts, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they are the students that really would benefit from coming to study this. So it's important industry keeps uh, looking for experts, but at the moment, unfortunately, because we have not been training recent or in the last few years, we are now trying to catch up on developing our academic skills, and that's what we're doing. So, everybody, thanks very much. That was my presentation. If there are any questions, otherwise, Nicolene, over to you. Thanks, thanks, Howard. Uh, we look forward to see your impact of students into the industry. Is there any questions for Howard? See in the chat. Um, there's a few students. I'm just scrolling up to see where it has start a few questions. <clears throat> okay, I've got Andrew's question there. Is that correct? The last go ahead. Thing. I'm still reading the top one, so go ahead. It says that Naval Architect requires certification. Please could you confirm how the university has arranged to have its graduates accredited to sign? naval design okay so firstly uh this is a marine engineering technologist and they have a foundation and a very strong foundation in naval architecture but they are not a qualified naval architect and uh, currently one i don't have enough staff and two economically there's not enough students who want to study naval architecture but what we have done is we have developed a five-year so if, if you, we talked about the three-year program, so they're a technologist at this point, and uh, we developed a fourth and a fifth-year taught master's program that is on the shelf, so to speak. Uh, we don't have staff, nor do we have students who want to take it at the moment. At that point, they will then be a qualified naval architect. Um, so these aren't graduates, they're technologists. Uh, all these graduates are technologists, not uh, not naval architects, as per the RENA requirements. But they will certainly be able to um, support your drawing offices and and do very good calculations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But as far as signing off on naval designs, that will have to be. That's what we aim to support in the future. 
I trust that answers that question. Thanks, Howard. Um, the uh, question just above that of more comment from Peter Jacobs says that the South African boat builders, um, we, they need help for South African boat builders to participate in the development for ISO 125-7. Um, Scantlings and multi holes. The French industry is investigating a slot for, in the standard for while South Africa is far behind. South Africa being the second largest multi hole builder, we need to stay up to date. So he's just saying that that is a nice project for a group of students. And if you want to get um, in contact with Peter to discuss, we can clearly hook you guys up. That'll be great. Thank you, Peter. I need to, again, that's the whole point of these type of. Uh, industry connection opportunities is that it's it's quite difficult i'm i'm a team of uh, one at the moment that's trying to do marketing for this but we need to support industry we need to catch up and especially we need to support our multi-hull and our our yacht building industry in this um we france is far ahead of us we need to catch up correct Okay, I see Gerard has, how does this course align or differ from the marine engineering degree at CPUT? Okay, so they actually are similar and very different. Firstly, if I can just, uh, just go back to the course outline. The marine engineering our marine engineering qualification is EXA accredited. In other words, it has the, at the professional engineering technologist level and um, <clears throat> equivalent to an incorporated in engineer overseas or in the UK. And uh, it has 420 credits and it's a three year program. If you compare the CPUT, CPUT is not engineering uh, or EXA accredited, and uh, they are a 360 credit um, qualification, as well as they are for operations. In other words, they are to go out, they're SAMHSA accredited so that they can go out to sea and operate and maintain the ships. So uh, the, our qualification is also accredited by SAMHSA, so our graduates can also go out to sea and work on ships, but we also have a slightly higher or a more applied engineering cognitive approach where they can go into more of a design environment. I trust that makes sense. Thanks, thanks, Howard. And then the last comment from Pomozo is um, that they will be able to help get out of school learners to get in touch with you. On that note... Thanks, um, thanks very much. I appreciate that. But the whole point is to get students enthusiastic about marine engineering and into design environments. Okay, excellent.